uh, for us in Wales, working with Keep Wales Tidy to try and get every school in Wales <laughs> to become an eco school, and in a sense every young person in Wales to become a champion uh, of the environment. And we've made a major commitment as an assembly government, and actually that's a commitment supported across all of the four parties in Wales, to try and bring our use of our resources down to something that is fair. So we've got to be much more careful for the future. One of the big opportunities about the Eco Schools agenda is for us all to be saying we're prepared to make those changes. And for us as a government, it's not about saying don't do as we say or do as we say. It's about doing as we do. So a big warm welcome here today. Um, I think you're going to present uh, to me now your, your pledges. And we're going to have different representatives from um, the schools uh, in terms of, uh, of hearing the pledges. And then if I may, I'll just come back up and briefly respond uh, to some of the issues uh, raised in the pledges. I didn't want to do that before you actually presented them. So thanks very much indeed. Uh, our first point is to increase energy options within all schools in Wales and that all schools in Wales should have installed at least one form of renewable energy. And our second point is to, re to achieve a reduction in car use across Wales by increasing the frequency of car free days. Continuing improvements of cycle roads, encouraging the use of public transport like buses and trains, and um, the improvement of transport works. Okay, so it's important that we must raise awareness of the responsibility that we all have to, you know, take care of the little problem. I mean, it's something that we all show whether we're young or adults. Um, but where that's not possible and people aren't taking responsibility, then we think that there is a need for stricter penalties to be placed so that people do stop and take notice.